I got down there and took a drink of water, and right before my eyes was a white arrowhead in about two or three inches of running water, and it's in one of these frames. And I've been hooked on the local Indians ever since. Well, my name is Don Keffer, and I've been collecting since I was about 10 or 11 years old. And I'm 93 now, must be 80-some years. I'm glad that I was introduced to the hobby by a guy by the name of Earl Porter. He would go around to the farmers and ask them if they found anything in the field. He's talking Indians, and I, right away I'm interested. He took me to the Trick Strickler site, moseyed up through the field, and before we got up to the site, he picked up an arrowhead, or so he said he did. I don't know, he may have reached in his pocket and got it. <laughs> but. Uh, if he did, it's in one of these cases. And he then was like I am now. He shuffled around. We're pretty much alike. There was a place he mentioned was Mary Bates' gar garden. Oh, he said there used to be a, an Indian lived in that area. I started looking on the way home from school. So when I kept going past there, I'd keep looking. And sure enough, one day on the way home from school, I picked up a piece of black flint. It was wet from the water that was running down the ditch there, and that made it stand out. So I picked it up and put it in my pocket, and I've been hooked on the local Indians ever since. I don't know anything about the Indians out west or anywhere else, but I've hunted a lot. I've got the most of the ones I ever found. There's still things to be found where I pick up an arrowhead or a work stone or game stone. When I find any trace of them, it's a thrill for me, and I keep carting it home and cleaning it up and storing it around. And I had a walking stick, and if I seen something that looked different, I would turn it out. And if it was nothing special, I left it there. But if it was something that they had handled, I put it in the bag. There's several pieces that's glued together. That, that's not cheating, that's just putting it the way it is. And it takes a lot of band-aids and a lot of know-how. That's the story of my life, the most of them have been broke, but I, I keep them as well as the good ones. But I had a room very similar to this. It was laid out on the shelves and my friends and people interested, they'd come around and I'd take them back there and we'd look things over and I'd tell them about them. And I thought, well, 99% of the pieces are local. Why not offer it to the local historical society? A lot more people get to enjoy the things that I've been associated with. They was happy to come down and get the relics and bring them up and I was glad to find a home for them.